I started building cars um, really about 14, 15 years old with my dad in the garage. And then um, after that, you know, worked through body shops throughout high school and then into uh, later on. And then I was able to break off on my own and build my own things and do them here in my own shop. So building, you know, hot rods and custom cars. The type of cars that I prefer to build are more of the 30s through the 50s era. And the more the hot rod style, then when you get into later 50s, it's gonna be more of a, the customs, I guess. You know, that era has that feel, you don't build a hot rod in a 50s car, so it's gotta be a custom car in the 50s and 40s, and then more of a hot rods from the, you know, 30s to mid 30s. The car that I have behind me is a 1953 Ford Custom Line. Um, it's been highly modified from what it would look like originally. Um, it's been chopped five inches, it's been sectioned three inches, um, I cut the roof off, I put a glass top in it off of Mercury. It's got a different dash in it from a Mercury. The headlights in this are off of a 59 Chevy. The grill is all custom made with uh, Lexan tubes. The taillights are out of a 1956 Olds 98. To the exhaust, you have the exhaust actually coming out the rear. It's all MagnaFlow exhaust system, all stainless steel, two and a quarter inch off from the headers. The interior is also gonna be different from uh, 66 T-Bird bucket seats to Everything else is going to be hand built on the inside. So the name for the paint, we call it Shocking Pink. And I just came, well, say I came up with it because uh, the car's name is Monroe. So I, like after Marilyn Monroe, she had a pink dress on in the, the 1953 film, uh, Gentlemen for Blondes, and they called that dress Shocking Pink. So that was where I came up with that. I sent the spray out to Tamco Paint, and she was able to, like, mass produce it, you'd say, you know, so she's able to make me a gallon and anytime I need more, if anything happens, she's able to, you know, make the paint back for me the way I had it, so. Motors out of a 91 uh, Crown Vic with a 302 with a AOD trans, um, polished intake, chrome carburetors, like I said, motors pretty much set up the way you would see it in the late 50s. Everything's clean, everything's polished, everything matches. The top is actually off of a 54 Mercury, but I had the new glass made for it. These are usually, factor they came green tinted, and then uh, I, obviously that was not gonna work for this car. So, and I wanted a clear one so you can able to see the interior of the car. The steering wheel in the car is off of a 56 Lincoln. Steering wheel, Chris did this, he did an amazing job. It's been cut down from 18 inches, chromed the whole steering wheel, and then recasted it with a clear and pink cast. So the clear ties into the roof to the grill. It all blends itself together. The grill in the car is a Lexan tubes, which I got an idea. I actually had some glass tubes out of my grandpa's barn that he had. And I'd, being that I couldn't heat glass, but I still wanted to use the concept of having a clear grill in this to match the roof and the steering wheel, have it all tied together. So I used a solid Lexan rods and heated them up to be able to bend and shape the same contour of the car. So back here in the trunk, it's obviously all gonna be covered here with uh, relic leather. Um, Mike Lawson's gonna do his magic on covering everything in the pink leather and white leather, but it's all set up on um, Flow Air Ride uh, tank and compressors with an air management system from Airlift. Ran to uh, Flow Tanks to a Flow Compressors. And Battle of the Builders, so building this car, I thought there was enough done to it and it stands out enough that um, I would go ahead and try to enter it and see how it goes. Cause I'm just a, uh, a single guy in a garage out here in the Midwest Illinois, there ain't too much out here. And um, going out to Vegas, even just getting a car out there is, is a big deal. So, you know, there's a lot of work done to this car and I hope people enjoy it once they see it and realize how much time it has taken me to, to build it. So.